In this example, we're going to calculate the pH at the equivalence point for a titration of a weak acid with a strong base. Now, most of the time when we are doing a titration or of, an, of a strong acid with a strong base, the equivalence point is 7.0 because we are just uh, neutralizing the uh, H positive with OH producing water and a salt. So that's the product of that reaction of a, an, a strong acid with a strong base. So that's why the equivalence point is 7 for that type of titration. But when you're doing a titration of a weak acid, the equivalence point, the pH of the equivalence point is most of the time higher than 7. And why is this? Remember that at the equivalence point, all the weak acid has been titrated. So we have uh, the weak acid, for example, let's say um, the one that we're going to use here, acetic acid. Acetic acid is going to react with OH. And this is going to produce the acetate plus water. That's the reaction of uh, the weak acid with a strong base. So in the product, we have this. And this is the conjugated base of the acetic acid. This is acetate. That acetate is a base. So that base can react now with water. And because it's a base, it's going to remove one hydrogen. So the product of this reaction is going to be, again, the acetic acid plus the OH. And this is going to increase the pH. So that's why the equivalence point of a titration between a weak acid and a strong base is the equivalence point that is higher than 7. So going back now to our example, we have here that um, our weak acid is acetic acid and the strong base is sodium hydroxide. Hydroxide is the base, strong base for this titration. Um, and uh, at the equivalence point, the this type of reaction is basically um, let's write acetic acid shortcut like this plus OH is going to produce the acetate plus water. As we can see here, the uh, coefficients of the stoichiometry for this reaction is one to one, one as acetic acid per one mole of hydroxide. That's the reaction. So if both concentrations are the same, we expect that the, the complete neutralization of the acetic acid will be with 50 mils because that's <clears throat> 50 mils of sodium hydroxide because that is the volume that we have of the acetic acid. So at that point, we mentioned that we have just acetate. We don't have acid. So that acetate will react with water producing OH and by determine the concentration of OH at the equivalence point, we can determine the concentration of H3O, or also we can calculate the pOH and then determine the pH of the solution. So it doesn't matter. We have uh, a few ways to determine the pH of the solution. So by saying that, let's calculate the moles of um, the acetic acid. We have um, this right here, moles of the acetic acid. This is going to be equal to the volume 0 0.050 liters of the solution multiplied by the concentration that is 0 0.100 moles of the acetic acid divided by 1 liter and we cancel the volume with this volume and we have that this is going to be equal to 0 5.00 times 10 power of minus 3 moles of the acetic acid. Now, because we know that we are in the equivalence point, that means that all of these moles has been re has reacted with OH producing acetate. So the moles of uh, let me rewrite this. So the moles of the acetic acids are going to be equal to the moles of acetate 
at the equilibrium. Okay, so the most of the the acetic acids are going to be transformed to the moles of acetate. So the concentrations of acetate at the equivalence point are going to be equal to 5.0. Let me write this 5. Pretty ugly. 5.00. Times 10 power of minus 3 moles of acetate divided now by the total volume. Remember that we have 50 mL of acetic acid and 50 mL of the sodium hydroxide. So the total mole is going to be 100 milliliters. So that means this that is 0.1 liter. So the concentration of this is going to be 0 0.050 molar of acetate. That's the concentration of acetate. So now we need to write, let's write the equation for the acetate. When acetate reacts with water, remember that now we have acetate in water, this is going to have an equilibrium producing the acetic acid plus the OH. And this equilibrium has a uh, decision constant that is called KB because we have a base as a product. Okay, so we have a KB. So KB here is going to be equal to the concentration of the acetic acid times the concentration of OH. This is by basically doing the rise equation that uh, the table that we did before divided by 0 0.05 minus x okay this is basically the same expression that we have seen before for um, the dissociation constant the KB is equal to 5.6 times 10 power of minus 10 okay the KB for the acetate so as we expect this value is pretty small, so we can say that KB, or basically we can see, yeah, KB is going to be equal to x squared times 0 0.05. So x squared, that means that x squared is going to be equal to 5.6 times 10 minus power of minus 10 multiplied by 0 0.05. And this, when we do the square root of this, x is going to be equal to 5.3 times 10 minus 6 molar. And the x represents the concentration of OH. Okay, so this is also the concentration of OH. Now we can calculate from that <clears throat> the POH. So the POH is going to be equal to minus log of 5.3 times 10 power of minus 6 and the POH is equal to 5.28. So the pH is going to be equal to 14 minus 5.28 and this is going to be equal to 8.72 so this is the um, pH at the equivalence point as, and as we mentioned before when we have a weak acid a saturation of a weak acid the pH is going to be higher than 7 okay because of the reaction of the can you get it base with water producing OH and that will increase the pH from 7 to a little bit higher